When you have to do something really important, right now, unlocking your phone, opening an app, and navigating to the right place is a lot of work. On API 24 and higher devices, though, there's an alternative, a quick settings tile. Now your app can provide its own tiles for quick access to critical functionality. Once users have manually added your tile, they'll be able to view your tile by swiping down the notification tray, either as just an icon if you're in the first few spots, or with up to two lines of text and the icon in the full Quick Settings panel. Even better, the full Quick Settings panel is available even if the device is locked. Users can then tap on your Quick Settings tile to trigger a callback where you can kick off some background work, show a dialog, or start an activity. Now that's pretty useful for those really frequent or urgent tasks. And that's really what quick settings tiles are all about. They're not just for launching your app. You have a home screen icon for that. So think about the critical operations that can be very easily understood with a simple icon and a quick tap, or through a simple dialogue to provide a bit more context. Now, your quick settings tile is going to be controlled and managed through a tile service. Note that your app name will be displayed right next to the name of the quick settings tile. So give a descriptive name and icon that hints at what it actually does. Space is pretty limited here, so keep it under 18 characters for the label. The icon here should be solid white on a transparent background. Think of it as just the alpha channel. Remember, you can use a vector drawable as you'll only be enabled on API 24 and higher devices. The life cycle of a quick settings tile is a bit different from many services though, and has three main parts. First, when your tile is added to the quick settings panel, the system will bind to your service and call on tile added. After that, each time your tile is visible, the system will yet again bind to your tile service and call on start listening. This is the point where you're expected to keep the tile up to date all the way until you receive a callback to on stop listening, which is when the tile is no longer visible. These make a natural pairing if you need to set up any listeners for changes. Finally, when, I mean, if the user were to ever remove your tile, you'd again have the system bind to your service and call on tile removed. Keep in mind that the life cycle is controlled by the system here, so don't assume that your service will persist between these states. There's another mode called active mode. Read the blog post linked in the des description for how that differs from the passive mode described here. Okay, let's say we've received a callback to on start listening and we want to update our tile. You'll call get QS tile to get the tile instance associated with the tile service. This is what allows you to update the icon, label, and content description. It also allows you to set the state of the tile. There are three states for a tile. Active corresponds with the on or enabled state. Inactive is the off or disabled state and the system automatically tints your icon to indicate the inactive state. Really useful if you have a tile that naturally fits with an on-off toggle model. And finally, the unavailable state. This would be appropriate if your tile needs internet access and you're offline, for instance. Users can't click on your tile when it's unavailable, unlike the other two states. Just remember, once you've updated everything you need, you need to call update tile. This is what actually triggers the system to update your tile. There's one other pretty core part to a quick settings tile though, handling clicks. You'll get a callback to your tile services on click method whenever the user taps your tile. From here, you have a few options. The most common case is you, you wanna do some background work toggling some internal state in your app, and updating your tile with the new state. You can also display a dialog using the show dialog method. This is useful if the tile switches between more than two states, or you feel the user needs some additional context, such as what remote device is being changed, or that you need to download or upload some information. 
There's also a start activity and collapse method for starting an activity directly from the tile service. Don't forget though, users will be able to access your tile even if the device is securely locked. If you have something sensitive, consider checking is secure and modifying your behavior to only show non-sensitive information. If the quick settings panel is above the lock screen, is locked will return true. In this state, you won't be able to use show dialog. And you'll have to make sure any activity you start uses flag show when locked to show above the lock screen. There is a convenience method unlock and run that will prompt the user to unlock their device if your click handling requires an unlocked device. So, quick setting styles are a great way to give quick access to critical functionality in your app. Make sure they're intuitive and save the user time throughout the entire lifetime of the app, and you'll find them a great way to build better apps.